In addition to subscription-free weather, Stratus also receives ADS-B traffic, so you can keep track of other airplanes right on the ForeFlight moving map. To view traffic, first turn on Stratus and connect it to your iPad by going to the Settings app and selecting the Stratus Wi-Fi network. Then, open ForeFlight and go to the Maps tab. Tap the Layers menu at the top left of the screen and make sure Traffic is selected. This layer is only visible when connected to Stratus, so you may not have seen it before. If it's not on, you won't see any traffic. By default, ForeFlight shows all traffic targets being received by Stratus. If this display becomes cluttered, which can happen in busy airspace, there is a handy traffic filter setting that will hide all traffic beyond 15 miles and plus or minus 3,500 feet of your position. To enable this feature, tap the gear button to the right of the layers menu. Then tap the first option under Map Overlays labeled Hide Distant Traffic. If you aren't sure whether you're receiving ADS-B traffic, tap the gear symbol and go to the Stratus status page. Here you'll see a section with traffic information, including how recently Stratus received updates from the three sources of ADS-B traffic, both 978 MHz and 1090 MHz air-to-air -air transmissions, as well as TIS-B traffic that is rebroadcast from ground stations. If you're receiving traffic but not seeing it on the map, verify that the Hide Distant Traffic setting is turned off and double check that the traffic layer is turned on. The traffic symbols on the moving map show a variety of information, including relative altitude in hundreds of feet, climb or descent rate, and projected track. You can tap on a traffic target for more information. You can also enable pop-up traffic alerts from the More tab. Finally, it's important to remember that ADS-B traffic does not work like ADS-B weather. Whereas weather is broadcast to everyone, like an AM radio station, traffic is only broadcast in response to ADS-B out equipped aircraft. That means that traffic will be limited unless your aircraft has ADS-B out installed in the panel. Let's look at three scenarios to see how this works. The most common scenario occurs when you're flying with Stratus but do not have an ADS-B out transponder installed in the panel. Here, you'll see an airplane that is transmitting ADS-B out via a direct or air-to-air -air transmission. No ADS-B ground station is involved. Since many airplanes do not have ADS-B out, the number of airplanes you'll see is fairly limited and you will not see regular Mode C targets. In this case, a dual-band ADS-B receiver like Stratus will see more traffic targets because it receives both 978 and 1090 frequencies. Next, consider a situation when you're still flying with Stratus and you still don't have ADS-B out in your airplane, but you are close enough to another aircraft that is ADS-B out equipped. In this case, that ADS-B out airplane is waking up the ground stations and is receiving a custom traffic picture for a 30-mile hockey puck around that airplane. If you are close enough to that airplane, your Stratus can listen in on that traffic message. While you won't get a complete traffic picture, you will get a better one, since the ground station transmits Mode C targets in addition to ADS-B targets. The best possible case is when you have an ADS-B out transponder in your airplane. Here, you are transmitting out to the ground stations and creating your own hockey puck of traffic information. You'll see all traffic within a 30 mile diameter and 3,500 feet, including Mode C targets that do not have ADS-B out installed. ADS-B traffic can be a valuable resource with Stratus and for flight, as long as you understand the limitations and how to use it properly. For more information, visit sporties.com slash stratus.